Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man or today, The Cheap Home Theater Man. At The Cheap Audio Man, we concentrate on high value audio and home theater products. So today, we're putting together an entire 5.1 surround system for less than $1,000. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and let's put together a home theater system for less than a grand. You know, if home theater folks are anything like hi-fi enthusiasts or audiophiles, there's going to be people out there that are just going to crap all over your system and say it's garbage. That's why the folks from Sith Audio have created the first ever video file glasses. That's right, folks. When you're watching your favorite movie, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, or Escape from L.A., you can make everything better now from Sith Audio and visual. It's the uh, video file glasses. They're 300, they're fogging up already. They're $399 a piece guaranteed to make your cinematic experience even better. Okay, so today we've done a few home theater reviews here. We've, we've talked about the Marantz NR 1711. We've talked about a Sony 7.5 or 7 channel receiver. I can't remember which one it is. We've talked about a Denon receiver. Today we're talking about Onkyo. Sorry, Onkyo, I hit you a little hard. TX SR. No, wait a minute. TX, no, it's a TX SR. Should have trusted myself. 393. This is a $330 home theater receiver. It's a five channel receiver. It's not the newest thing out there. It's not the latest and greatest, but guess what? It's still available and actually available on Amazon. And if anybody's been following home theater or audio and visual lately, they know that there's not a lot of receivers available. I bought this one from Best Buy. I'm not really even going to talk about the power output of this because there's zero chance that the rated, I think it's well over 100 watts per channel. Zero chance that you actually get over 100 watts per channel. So let's just say it's fine. It drove all the speakers I needed it to drive just fine. It's been upstairs playing movies uh, and it's had some clips on it. The clips uh, RP6000F towers and the matching center channel, but I've also run it on some other speakers that we're going to show you. Okay. So this thing is going to be the hub of the system. It's $330. It does Dolby digital. It even does Dolby Atmos. Now, if you connect Atmos, you're going to, if you got only got five channels, you're not really going to get the true Atmos experience because you're not going to have rear channels. So if you're going to do Atmos on this, you're getting the fronts, the center, and then some Atmos speakers either up in, in the roof or in the ceiling or firing upwards and bouncing off your ceiling back into your, your ear holes and making it seem really cool when there's rain and the other stuff coming out of the ceiling. On the back of the receiver, you have nice binding posts, nice binding posts for, I don't know where to stand, nice binding, you're just gonna have to look at it, nice binding posts for the right and left and then you have clippy clips for the center and the rears or the atmos and that's fine that's what you're going to get hdmi inputs it will the hdmi hdmi on here will pass dolby vision hdr10 it has an audio return channel hdmi if you have a smart tv such as a tcl i literally just said tlc and then i had to redo it so TCL, I have a five series TCL, which incidentally is a very good value television for the money. It's the five series TCL. It's got Dolby Vision and all the good stuff. So anyway, audio return channel. So the way that I had this connected to my TV upstairs was I just ran the HDMI arc from the TV right into this and it was up and running. I switched a couple of settings in the TV so the audio I switched to pass through so that way I can get more than just a PCM signal. PCM means two channel signal so I can get multi-channel signal out of the TV. Anyway, of under five minutes I was up and running. And this morning I watched uh, the beginning sequence of Rise of Skywalker, which is one of my favorite movies because the beginning you got Kylo Ren, he's running around tearing up people with his laser sword uh, looking for the Emperor and he finds him. Anyway, 
during that sequence there's a bunch of lovely lovely uh, space flight and a lot of fun stuff that's going on and it gives you uh, an impression of of how your system's doing with the subwoofer and the surrounds and everything okay it didn't sound very good did it anyway the onkyo is a very capable little receiver and i've owned a few receivers actually i have another onkyo in 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 the house right now it's the TXNR686. It's not the latest generation. It's one generation back. I think they're up to the 696 generation now. Anyway, I've had that. I've had another Onkyo. I think that one is the 656, which I gave to a friend. And I also have a Marantz NR1711, which is a little bit higher end receiver. That one's in my bedroom running home theater duties in there but i've had a ton of receivers i've been in the home theater for 20 plus years i actually got my first home theater receiver from sears in the late 90s so i have always had home theater receivers and it wasn't till recently that i actually started using dedicated two channel systems for my music listening i used to just listen to all my music through my receivers so this is our receiver the onkyo all right 330 bucks available on amazon i think there's 18 left in stock so if you want to get one everybody knows that's looking for a receiver these days knows that they're pretty scarce okay is this the best receiver on the planet absolutely not it's 330 dollars so let's i'm not here to tell you that this is going to replace or rival a five thousand or a ten thousand dollar system no this is for people that want to get into home theater you're going to get five channels and a subwoofer and pretty much all the processing that you need initially for under a grand and that's pretty cool onkyo has improved their menu a lot more than they did in the past the 686 has a very actually good menu system the previous model before that their menu system wasn't that great this menu is kind of based off of what the 686 and the 686 is anyway it's not super hard to understand and hard to navigate so it's pretty simple you hook your speakers up actually you run a room correction software if you want it'll walk you through which speakers you have but if you want to do it manually go into speaker configuration you set up which speakers you have 2.1 3.1 5.1 3.1.2 if you're running atmos whatever it is it's not that difficult plug in the microphone it's going to take a sample of your room and it's going to give you crossovers and things like that so we have our receiver it's 330 dollars we need some speakers this is where you're going to have some options i think most home theater aficionados or enthusiasts would agree that the center channel is a pretty important part of the system and i don't have it right now because i sent it back this week but the center, and we're gonna be a little unorthodox here. We're not going to recommend a completely voice matched set of front speakers. And I know that's gonna cause some people's heads to explode, but it's okay. In, pract in theory, it's great to have a voice timber matched system up front. Okay, I agree with that. In practice, I've run different types of speakers up front from a clipped center and polk fronts to a polk center and clips fronts and guess what i couldn't really tell a difference the center channel that i'm going to recommend is the emotiva c1 plus it is a true three-way center channel it's a sealed center channel fantastic great for dialogue if you want timber matched then you'd want to pick up the b1 pluses the c1 plus is 250 dollars the B1 Plus bookshelf speakers are $240. So you got $320 and then you got another around $500 for your center and your fronts. But we can go cheaper than that. So the other option is still get, get the Emotiva B1 or C1 Plus, sorry, center channel, and then get a pair of these. These are the Sony SS CS5s. One of my favorite speakers of all time because they're good and they're cheap. Right now they're running $118 on Amazon. They vacillate between three different prices, 150, 
118 and 75 dollars on amazon and if you get them around black friday cyber monday and throughout the year they just went back on sale for 75 dollars you can get these for a steal so if you want to save money these can not only be your front channels but they can be your rear channels as well at 118 dollars you can get two pair of them for $238. And here's another wrinkle if you really want to get into it. The matching center channel to these Sony's isn't very good from what I have heard. I haven't spent any time with it. I have spent time with the matching towers, if you can call them that, matching floor standing speakers, and those weren't very good either. So I only recommend the Sony SSCS5s, which is the bookshelf. So if you want true timber matching, you could get three pairs of these and run one as your center channel now are you going to be able to get it vertical i don't know you may have to leave it on, uh, lay it on its side is it the perfect situation no but if you want true timber matched and that is something that you need to have getting three pairs of these for all of your speakers and then just having an extra one is a great way to get going for just north of 350 bucks 350 bucks so at that point, we're $330 plus $350, we'll call that $700 for all your speakers and your receiver. And then we need a subwoofer. So when these go on sale, they have a matching subwoofer that goes down to a reported 19 hertz, and you can get it for $100. Right now, it's not on sale for $100. But the Polk PSW-10 is $150 which I actually have two of them in the house. Are they the best subwoofer on the planet? Are they gonna rival an SVS subwoofer? No, they're not. It's a ported 10 inch low power sub, but it's 150 bucks and those often go on sale for $120 and the Sony's go on sale for $100. It will, guess what? Reproduce low frequencies and you can do a crossover on them. So you can cross these over probably 90 to 100 Hertz. And if you're running a center, this as a center probably 100 hertz cross over your sub at 100 hertz or whatever it is and guess what you're going to get low frequencies to the subwoofer and it's going to sound just fine so if you get three pairs of these for let's say 350 dollars and your receiver for 330 dollars you're not even at 700 dollars yet then you add a 150 dollar subwoofer you're still under 850. if you want to step that up i would go with the emotiva c1 plus and then you could do four of these for the front channel and the surround channels. And you'll still be at less than $500 for all of your speakers. And you add this, so you're at $800, maybe $15 or so. And then you add another uh, your sub on there. You're still under a grand. Now, yes, you're going to need cables and stuff like that. But most of us probably have enough HDMI cables laying around that we'll be able to get by. The other option is... I shouldn't hold my breath when I'm moving things. I can give myself some type of hernia. All right, the other option is a JBL. These are harder to get off. Stage. Okay, they really don't want to come off today. Stage A130s. All right, so these are a great speaker. They have a five and a quarter inch woofer, a aluminum dome tweeter. These have five and a quarter inch woofer and a two tweeters, a super tweeter and a regular soft dome tweeter. Anyway. These, oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Are $300 right now, but they regularly go on sale down to $180. They also have a matching center speaker. So here's our upgrade path. We have an upgrade path with the Emotiva and we have an upgrade path with the JBLs. So if you get these, you can get these as your fronts and you can get the matching center channel and that goes on sale as well. And then when you've saved up some money, you get the tower version, which is well regarded. I think it's the stage A170 or the stage A180. There's two different towers. And then you move these to your surrounds. So if you're starting out, you get these as fronts, the matching center, and then the Sony's for the rear to save some money. Either way, there's an upgrade path. My experience with home theater has kind of come full circle. So when I first started out, it really was five channel surround. That's all you got because that's all they had. As it went and you got more and more channels, I kind of chased that. So I had a 7.1 uh, system, a 7.2 system, 
when I got the Marantz, I ran a 5.1.2, so I had two Atmos speakers as well. And guess what? It sounded fantastic. When I had my 5.1 system, it sounded fantastic. When I actually didn't run a center channel, I only ran a 4.1 system. It sounded fantastic too. Now with different mixes and different requirements for dialogue, I really recommend running a center channel now because you can move that dialogue up and down depending upon what the mix is or depending if you're watching an old TV show that has bad mastering. Point being, in the late 90s when I first got into it, I'm watching Jurassic Park, home theater was awesome. And I had five channels and a subwoofer and it was great. As home theater has gotten better, I've added more channels and it's been great. But I have kind of scaled back my system and right now in my bedroom, which is really where I do most of my movie watching, it is a five dot one system. No Dolby Atmos. I can do Dolby Atmos, but I'm just not doing it right now. I may look in to get some of those upward firing Atmos modules, but I had them in the ceiling prior to that. It was awesome. But so is my 5.1 system. And so can this system be because home theater is about immersion. That's it. It's about enjoying the movie or television show. It's about being involved in it. And I would rather have a decent surround system than the latest and greatest Dolby Vision enabled TV. But the thing about TVs is they've gotten so affordable now, even a modest TV is going to be able to do ultra high definition 4K and like HDR10 and Dolby Vision and things like that. So point being here is you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to have a really great home theater experience. You can do it for less than $1,000. If you're buying used, you can do it for even less. But these are all available right now. I'll have all these linked in the comments section. This has, you know, this has various settings for, for DTS and, and Dolby and all, all that good stuff. It's not gonna have everything. Also, this does not have an EQ. It does have a room setup, so you're gonna be able to tell distances and things like that, and you're gonna be able to set crossovers. But if you have a speaker that has some type of resonance issues or you want to fix the speakers via EQ, it's not happening with this one. You can do that with the 686, 696, and, and the upper tier Onkyo receivers, but this does not have an EQ setting. So this was the first home theater system setup for the old Cheap Audio Man. Maybe I'll have to change the name to Cheap Home Theater Man. That's probably stupid. Anyway, if you like this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you know when all my videos go up. As you can tell, we're really serious here at the Cheap Audio Man. We wanna make sure that we have the most profound professional presentation that we can here at the Cheap Audio Man. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash Cheap Audio Man. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. Speaking of Amazon Music, if you sign up right now, you get six months of Disney Plus for free. You can sign up and cancel six months of Disney Plus for free, which means all the Marvel stuff, all the Star Wars stuff. Now you're enjoying it in full immersion with your 5.1 channel system or your 3.1.2 Atmos system. You got it right here. You can also use the links to buy these products. If you use the links and you purchase the products, I get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more though, so it's a great way to support the channel. So finally, you now get to binge watch something. You get to binge watch Marvel or Star Wars or whatever it is you wanna binge watch, you can do it because now you got a home theater system for less than a thousand bucks. So binge watch whatever you want, binge listen to whatever you want, have a good time, and I'm Randy, I'm the Cheap Audio Man.